welcome to a review of the Davis AirLink Air Quality Sensor. Now the air quality sensor is a device that will link through the Davis WeatherLink Live wireless data collection hub. It's not compatible with any of the consoles of the Davis products, but this is accessible via WeatherLink Live on the website and on the app. Let's take a look at what you get. Firstly, there's the air quality sensor itself, which is plugged in via a USB lead. And we've got that going into a UK power lead adapter. You also get the cover for the instrument and you get a couple of screws and some bump on stickers there, as well as the quick setup guide. Installing the device is very straightforward. On the app, you simply go to the My Account button, make sure your Bluetooth switched on as well, and you go to Add Devices, and you can uh, select there. We've obviously got the Air Link to add, so we're going to click on that one. Now you can choose to either have it um, installed to an existing weather station device or as a standalone air quality sensor. So once the power is connected, uh, you need to make sure again your Bluetooth's on, um, and then you hit the next button. Now at this point it asks you um, to make sure that there's a blue light underneath the unit which is on. So you can see that the blue light's illuminated there, so you're ready to connect. So then press the connect button. And in our case, it's already registered because we set it up earlier to test it out. But on yours, it will then hopefully uh, link up and, and be ready to go. So now your device should be visible, uh, not only on the app, but also on the WeatherLink website. So we've got the app up here on the phone. So scroll down through all the other parts of your weather station. Of course, these will be different depending on whether you have uh, the Vantage View or the, uh, the VP2, the, that's the Vantage Pro 2. Um, but if we keep going past rainfall it should there we go appear near the bottom so first of all um, you've got the air quality index which is a calculation based on the data that the unit's receiving um, and it also talks about pm now this is to do with particle sizes um, the idea being that these um, small particles from pm1 to pm10 are ones that are able to uh, be inhaled and to penetrate deep into your lungs and even enter the bloodstream so it's quite, um, it's quite useful to be able to monitor those, see what the air quality is like um, around the environment that your sensor is placed. A real positive of the air quality data section in the app is that you can click some arrows to find out more about what air quality index means and also um, about this adjustment here for wood smoke, should that be an issue in your area. So for example, to find out more about the air quality, um, you can click between the different values. So for example, unhealthy for sensitive groups, um, if you see that message displayed, um, it tells you the general public is less likely to be affected, but members of sensitive groups may experience health effects. And then you can go to recommended actions and it will suggest what you should do um, if you are particularly susceptible to um, issues with air quality. And if we go back again, so the wood smoke adjustments here, um, not only wood smoke, but it also tells you about all the various particle sizes. For example, PM1 is a particle concentration for inhalable particles between 0.3 and 1.0 micrometers in size. Another strength of the app is uh, similar to the other measurements that can be made by your weather station, uh, the fact that you can have some graph data. Um, now in our case we've only just um, switched this on so it'll take a while to um, record that data and, and give us uh, some history to look at there but uh, that's a nice feature too so you can see how your air quality has been changing over time. It's worth mentioning that there are a variety of global air quality indices in use, and you can choose from a growing list by clicking on this setup cog icon. And we're based in the UK, so that's what we've got selected currently. Um, but as you can see, we've got United States, Canada, EU, Australia, India, China, Mexico, and a couple of other ones on there as well. Then you click the back arrow and it automatically saves and updates onto the app. Now, apparently the air quality sensor also has a built-in humidity and temperature sensor, but I'll be honest, we couldn't find that data on the app itself. It could be that uh, perhaps it's being overridden by our uh, weather station's main data, but perhaps if you install the air quality sensor as a standalone unit, this might become an option, but it's something that we haven't yet investigated. 
So I'm just going to insert this short piece of video into our review because we've subsequently been to the weatherlink.com website and found our weather station here and uh, sure enough there's a lot more data displaying uh, for the air quality sensor as you can see. So for example we have the current air quality index there on the dial. We have the particulate matter data there for the PM1, 2.5 and 10 values. We have the graph now, which um, has been building up over the last day or so, since this is the day after our review. So we've now got some uh, good history on the graph. Um, we've got the one hour AQI dial. We've got uh, humidity and the temperature, which are the two things we said that we couldn't find where they were displaying yesterday. Well, we have subsequently found them. So there's the humidity dial there. And if we scroll over here, here is the temperature values for the air link, uh, the air link sensor itself. And then if we go along here as well, um, here are some more air quality values as well as a now cast dial. So that really uh, does enhance the product there, the ability to go onto the Weatherlink webpage and see all these various parameters uh, in glorious detail. The air quality sensor can be installed inside or indeed outside with the protective cover on. And it comes with full mounting hardware, including the screws and a bracket to be screwed into the wall. So here's the bracket which slides off from the base unit. And then you've got the screw holes there to mount it. And it's simply a case, once it's on the wall there, um, you slide it down onto the bracket. It clicks into place. There we go. And then you've got the uh, outdoor weather shield, which you can place over the unit itself there to protect it further. And that will slut up into position like so. In summary, we're really pleased with the AirLink air quality sensor in a number of ways. Firstly, the setup was really easy and straightforward to follow using the instructions on the app. We like the fact this unit can be installed indoors or outdoors, so it has that flexibility. The update interval is one minute, ensuring you're getting some recent data. We also like the fact that a variety of different data is displayed on the main app and indeed on the Weatherlink website. But overall, we very much recommend this. It's the Davis Instruments AirLink air quality sensor. Thanks for watching and if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to PubSheds today at youtube.com slash C slash PubSheds. We also have a Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash PubSheds. Thanks for watching.